Today we were just sitting around the house and we were going to go to Petty Jean Mountain, Mountain, Petty Jean Mountain in Apollo, Moralton area. And I got my dates mixed up and that's not until next week. Next weekend, next Saturday, Little Country Church is having a barbecue and a singing. We're going to Petty Jean Mountain hiking the Cedar Falls Trail. So today, Laura said, well, why don't we go geocaching? Because we haven't been geocaching in a long time. And if you don't know what geocaching is, it's when someone uses multi-million dollar government satellites to find pill bottles with duct tape around them on the edge of roads and in the woods. It's a online deal where people hide things in certain areas and put the coordinates on the internet and you go and try to find them with your GPS. Geocaching. We've been doing it a long time. I have, I have a few geocaches hidden. I have one hidden at Needmore by Waldron and I have some hidden in Texas and a couple other places. So I thought I would document this. This is our Saturday. We like to spend time together as a family. Hope you enjoy it. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you, we have 10 Labradoodle puppies. They're all black. If you want a Labradoodle puppy and you live in or around Arkansas, please let me know because we will try to pick you up. There were several of them that we just couldn't find. There it is. It's not about the destination, it's about the journey.
looks like that one just don't want to be found. This one had a magnet taped to it. We could not find that one either. This is the volunteer fire department right down from my house, Hilltop Fire Department. They're always up there, very dedicated. This is Laura trying to open up a persimmon seed to see what the weather's gonna do this winter. I'll do it later in the video. Lester Flat was at one time a very popular campground for bluegrass festivals. It's got a really nice little lake out there. I think it's for sale for a little over a million dollars.
right, so we, uh, here, I'm gonna have to, all right, so we went out and around, and Laura found a, uh, she's trying to open one of these uh, persimmons, and she couldn't. So I'm gonna try to make an attempt to open it up. What I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna do it like this. Got a hammer. So the deal is supposed to be if it has a spoon, you're going to be shoveling snow this winter. If it's a knife, it's going to be cutting cold and a fork, I can't remember. I don't know what that is. I have no idea what that is. It could be a broken spoon. This one was sort of green, so maybe it needs to be a uh, orange one before it'll tell. Anyway, 